Hello guys, welcome to session 8. In last session, we have discussed about the fertilization or nothing but syngamy. After that, we have discussed about what will happen after the fertilization in the flowers that is all we have discuss. Okay, so in this session, we are going to discussing about the post fertilization. In first, we are going to focusing on the endosperm. Yes, as we know that endosperm, so polar nuclei that is a 2n number it is a fuses with the one of the male gamete and it will form the structure called PEN primary endosperm nucleus okay so later this primary endosperm nucleus divides repeatedly by mitotic divisions and form the new to tissue that is occurring as a endosperms okay so here we are going to discussing about endosperm Endosperm means primary endosperm nucleus divides repeatedly by mitosis, ultimately forming a new tissue called endosperm. Okay, so endosperm nothing but it is a derived from the primary endosperm nucleus. Okay, on the basis of mode of development, there are three types of endosperms. So in endosperm, there are three types. So one is it is a nuclear endosperm, second one it is a cellular endosperm, third one is it is a halobial endosperms. Okay, first one we focus on nuclear endosperm. Now what is a nuclear endosperm means it is a common type of endosperm development. It is a common type of endosperm development. Here the primary endosperm nucleus divides primary endosperm nucleus divides freely into number of nuclei without any immediate cell wall formations okay so we know that is a type of endosperm common type of endosperm development here PEN divides freely into number of nuclei without any cell wall formation yes we can observe in these diagrams we can find number of nuclei are here Okay, and these nuclei they don't have any cell wall formations. Okay, this type of endosperm you are calling as a nuclear endosperm. So, example, we found this kind of endosperm, nuclear endosperm in Malvasi family. Okay. In last slide, we we'll discuss about the nuclear endosperm. In this slide, we we'll discuss about cellular endosperm and halobial endosperm yes we know that so endosperm means it is a nothing but pen later it's get the it is get the mitotic divisions and it is get differentiated into yes endosperm in endosperm there are three types one is nuclear second is cellular and third one is halobial yes we will now focus on the cellular endosperm yes we know that it is a division of primary endosperm nucleus here after the division of nucleus there will be the formation of wall yes here there is a when the endosperm undergo mitotic divisions after that there is a formation of wall and this kind of endosperms we are calling as a cellular endosperm yes we can observe in diagrams right so there are number of cells are there and they say they are having the their they, they are having the cell wall and it looks like a compartment Yes, and in each compartment, they may have the more than one nuclei. Okay, so cellular endosperm, we are discussing about cellular endosperm. The division of primary endosperm nucleus is immediately followed by wall formation so that the endosperm is a cellular form. The beginning, although some cells may enclose more than one nuclei, means nothing but simple. Yes, at the time of divisions, so each nucleus are they are having the wall formation and it is, looks like a compartment and each cell having the nuclei and this may be one nuclei or it may be more than one nuclei. Okay, yes, we can observe in diagrams. Example like peperomia. Example is peperomia. Next one is it is a halobial endosperm. Yes, we know that nuclear endosperm and we know that cellular endosperm. In case of nuclear endosperm, there is no any compartment or there is no any 
cell wall formation but in case of cellular we can find the cell wall formation or compartment so hello bell it is nothing but it is a intermediate between the cellular and nuclear type so hello bell is nothing but it is also one of the endosperm type of development here it will shows the both uh, both cellular as well as nuclear okay so it's a intermediate between cellular and nuclear type the first division followed by wall formation here when the cell is divide it will form the wall formation yes so that embryo sac divide into two compartment yes we can observe in diagrams there are two compartments are there there is only one wall will be there right so it will make two compartment in each compartment we can find the number of nuclei can find the number of nuclei and this kind of endosperm is occurring as a hello bell endosperm examples like hello bells in last slide we discuss about the endosperm and its types now we we'll focus on the functions of endosperms okay so the plant in the plants the endosperms reserves support early seeding growth so nothing but at a time of germination of seeds so it will provide the nutrition by the endosperm second point endosperms provide nutrition to developing embryo so at the time of development of embryo so endosperm provide the nutrition okay third point liquid endosperm of coconut yes the we know that coconut having the that co water and that water is nothing but it is a made up of endosperm this liquid endosperm of coconut contain the growth hormones like auxin cytokine and gibberellic acids okay so our next headline is it is a embryo okay so now what is the meaning of embryo means that it is a process of development of mature embryo from zygote so process of development of mature embryo from zygote is known as embryogeny is known as embryogeny okay the early stages of embryo development the early stages of embryo development of monocots or dicots yes both are similar early developments of monocots and dicots both are similar but though they are differ in the seeds the seeds may be differ but their early stage that is the embryo is will be the similar okay so embryo it developed from the zygote yes we know that embryo is developed from the zygote that is a fertilized eggs right so one is carry it one is it consist of male gamete and one is it consist of female gamete both will fuse and it will form the that is a zygote yes so this zygote it is in the 2n in number okay after the zygote immediately embryo will structure will not form it will take a rest period after that the it will give rise to embryo after the rest period that zygote give rise to embryo and the rest period it is vary from the one plant to other plant it is not same for all plant it may be vary from the one plant to other plant in this slide uh, we are going to discussing about the development of embryo uh, specially we are going to focusing on dicot plant okay so embryo develops at a micropyle end okay as we know that so zygote will be happens near to the micropyle region so embryo develop will be the will be occurs in the micropylar end yes of the embryo sac where the zygote is situated yes we know that near to the micropylar region we can find the zygote okay so most of the zygote divides only yes most of the zygote divides only after certain amount of endosperms form most of the zygote divides only after certain amount of endosperm is form so this is an adaptation to provide assured nutrition to the developing embryo okay so this means so here so endosperm will be develop first here here the endosperm will be develop first after that the zygote will be start dividing because at the time of development of embryo at a time of development of embryo embryo is required nutrition okay so in 
Last time we discussed about that the functions of endosperm means it's providing nutrition to developing embryo. So here for developing embryo it's require nutrition. So where it is from get it is getting from the endosperm. So because of that the first it will there will be the endosperm will form after that zygote will be the yes divide and it will form the developing embryo. Okay. So later the zygote Q raised to Yes, later the zygote Q raised to pro embryo and subsequently to cell then it will give structure called globular then it will give heart shape structure and later so it will develop into a fully mature embryo okay when zygote goes on uh, dividing so first it will start form the structure that is occurring as a pro embryo and it will form the two cell structure so later it will form the globular head structure after that it will form like a heart shaped and later it's become matured embryo so this all diagram we're going to focusing on the next slide so now we have to remember that so when the zygote will be undergo divisions first will form which structure pro embryo second it will form two cell later it will form globular head structure after that it will how it appears it is appears like a heart shape and finally it will give the mature embryo okay in last slide we theoretically we discuss about the development of embryo here we we'll focus on diagram how the embryo will be develops okay from the zygote to mature embryo yes the after the fusion of male and female gamete it will form it will form fertilization or syngamy and it lead, leads to structure called zygote so later after the rest period of after the rest period the zygote will be undergo division it will form the two stage or two cell structure okay so here we can observe the two cell structure so one is called terminal cell and one is called basal cell after that so these are differentiated into undergo division and these are going to be differentiated to yes cells like cells of embryo and suspensor okay now that you can find the elongated structure which can, that is we are calling as a suspensor cell now what is use of this suspensor cell means it is acting as a feeding and absorbing organ for the developing embryo okay so when it is goes on dividing so it will go through the different stages okay the first stage we are calling as a globular stage yes we can observe diagram here so it is looks like a globular stage after that it will move to the next structure that is we are calling as a it looks like a heart shape and so because of that it is calling as a it is a heart stage and finally it will give the a mature embryo okay so this is all about the development of the embryo from the zygote to mature embryo yes in this slide we're going to discuss about structure of dicot embryo a typical dicot embryo consists of embryonal axis and two cote lead on major portion of embryo axis above the level of cote lead on is the epicotyl so embryo axis which is found above the cotyledon is called apicotyl which terminates with the plumule or stem tip yes we can observe in this diagrams there is a structure called plumule so later this plumule develops into stem right so we can observe one more structure that is a cylindrical portion below the below level of cotyledon is called hypocotyl Yes, cylindrical portion below level of cotyledon is called yes hypocotyl that terminates its lower end in the radical. So later this part will become it is a root, okay? Or it will it will root tip, and the root tip is covered with a root cap, okay? So this is all structure of dicot embryo. So in next section we're going to discussing about structure of monocot embryo we'll discuss about fruits and we're going to focusing on the seeds thank you guys